Hello YouTube, and hello, hopefully fellow Onward player. If you haven't played Onward yet and you have VR, then I recommend getting that game because it's awesome. And if you somehow found this video, I don't know how you did, but welcome. Anyway guys, this is for people who are looking to get a better strategy on the map, Subway. And because of that, with everything that's going on right now, with how the community's growing and whatnot, you get a chance to, uh, you know, try to test out the game and you want to get better at it. Here's a map strategy on how to do it for Subway. Stay tuned, guys. It's coming right now. So YouTube, the biggest thing that we are going to be focusing on for this map is we are going to be focusing on Marsoc. Volk is such one-sided and so powerful, especially with where they can defend from, that what we are going to do is we are not going to be focusing it from it as much. But that's okay. What we are going to be focusing on is Marsoc and giving you the best chance to be able to attack and win the objective, okay? So what we are going to do is first off, we are gonna be going over where all the objectives are, and then where all the spawns are, and then how to better help your loadout and when to attack uh, timing-wise. So, with that being said, here we go. Uh, so basically, guys, first things first, one of the biggest things that needs to be noted is where these objectives are. Now, there are four objectives, if I recall correctly, and this is all from memory, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, we got the outdoors, we got north, uh, north stairway, we got mid, and we got basement, okay? So these are where the objectives are going to be. The nice part is on Marsoc, um, you generally spawn either here, here, um, or here, depending on the objective. These two are only if it's the upstairs one. And that one is, uh, horror. I hate that one. But, uh, just because they can get into some really good positioning on Volk's side and really cut you off, especially up here with nades or being able to watch up here with the stairway. But we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. The first one that we are definitely going to be talking about and probably the one that you guys are most excited for is how Marsaw can get the win on Volk. That's the number one thing. Not only can you have the best chance of getting a win, but you have the best chance of getting a cap. And what objective that is, is the North Stair objective. Okay? Now, why is that? The biggest reason... <clears throat> The biggest reason that is important and why that's one of the best objectives for you to take is that you have timing advantage on the uh, Volk. You can beat them. Shut up, computer. You can beat them uh, with where they spawn. So Volk spawn right here, which is way back there in the map, and you spawn up there where the other red is located. Now... With that being said, you basically, and what we like to do a lot, is send two people down the south stairs and send everyone else over to the north stairs. So a 2-3 split. One of the biggest things that can help you when you are playing either in the league, there is an onward league, or just in pubs, one of the biggest things that can help is doing a basically a 2-2-1 split where you have two people together, two people together, one person by themselves, or doing a 3-2 split. Doing that helps really keep your team together, and when you have one of your guys gets taken out, you are more likely to get the trade to where it keeps the field very even. That's, that's absolutely huge, and that is something that a lot of people, especially in pubs, needs to work on. It's not Call of Duty. One of the best things about doing a 2-2-1 two, two, split is that the one person is able to scout out and get a look around and get a feel for where everyone is at. And if he has a chance to take a shot, he's able to, but generally you're keeping it to yourself and no big deal. Um, this map is not more for a 2-2-1 two, two, split. It's more for a 2-3 split or a 4-1, but that's very rare. Uh, and we see a couple of times when people have done a 4-1 split on this objective. Uh, to me, though, that is not as safe the biggest reason that, that is not as safe is because you're gonna see the volk running out now timing wise they're able to get to here just fine but on the other hand 
um, they cannot get to defend this objective before you can get down the stairs and into this yellow room right here, the storage room. You can move up to here, okay? That is really big. And you getting into this hallway before they can even really see you is huge. Now, what I mean by that is, eh, by the time we're going to make Marsock green, because I like green. Or, eh, that's confusing for you guys. We'll make them um, red to keep with the color code, okay? Marsock is red. What we are going to do is say, ooh, that's a bit too far. You can get basically right here before they have a chance to shoot at you. And they will be about right here, okay? So that's one of the biggest things and first thing to note when you are attacking uh, this north objective is when you are running down those south stairs, you need to look to your right. And you will be able to spot some people running towards you to guard the objective. Biggest thing, though, is a lot of the times they will not expect you, especially in pubs, to run into that hallway. They will not expect you just to rush in. And I mean it. Rush in. Okay? Run in. You'll be fine. You got timing on your side to where you can run in safely. And I cannot stress that enough. Run through. Now, once you do happen to run through and you get about right here one of the biggest things that i've seen a lot of people do and a couple of things that i do is um i will literally just run up to the train tracks right here get into the train tracks duck down you have a chance to be able to take out the people who are around you um most of the time for example the people around you are going to be in this general area um and they generally try to stick around there and you have a good chance of being able to surprise them or taking them out with being in the train track right there. If it so happens that no one ends up guarding it, which is pretty rare, but it happens every once in a while, um, you have a couple of open things that you can do. The safest thing that you can do, and what I do a lot, is I will go and run down the stairs. Now, why would I want to run down the stairs? Well, there's there's two main reasons. One, if people are still running over and they're looking in this general area, you want to be able to sneak by them and get through. One of the easiest ways to do that is to go down the stairs. There's never anyone defending the basement. Because, I mean, everything's above ground. Why would anyone be in the basement? And it gives you full access to be able to come up the north stairs so with that being said that that's amazing and, and big you can also stay right at the north stairway right there uh, I literally just pointed to it on the screen but <laughs> right there <laughs> um, and you can fire through the rails the nice part is there's gonna be usually how people defend it um, on Volk is there's usually like one right there, one right here, maybe another one on the outside, and then like one around here to try to shoot the people who are coming down the stairs, okay? Usually, there's only about one person. I've seen every once in a while, and mainly in competitive, uh, since we are a part of the league, um, where they've sent two people this way, okay? But generally, this is about what the what the split looks like and how it looks. One thing I've seen that's been very interesting too, a little bit, but this is again in competitive. People have stayed back and gone behind like the signs or the pillars around this area right here. That's something that you need to keep in mind and something that you need to remember. But uh, basically, running through the stairs and coming up on the other end is your best chance of survival. If you're feeling a little bit more deadly and dangerous and you like living on the wild side, then what you can do, I mean, literally just run up here. And once you're on this pillar, you're going to be able to see where they all are at, especially in pubs. No one's going to be defending the south stairway generally in pubs. Um, and you're able to see them all and just be able to shoot at them and take them out. One of the biggest things to do 
uh, is while you are attacking from up here, that's going to distract everyone around the objective. Now, the biggest thing about that is they're going to start looking towards you and trying to take you out because they are currently uncovered because they have no defenses up here. They have like a train track and stuff and whatnot, but they're busy focusing on the objective because it can get capped on. So when they turn around and start attacking you, uh, what you need to do is just start laying fire and communicate to your team to go for the cap. And then you need to go and distract fire them so that they are able to know uh, how to defend. They are, they are able to know how to run up to the objective and cap. One of the biggest things also uh, that really helps attacking in general on this map is taking a shield. Now, one of the nicest things that you can do on this update as well is you can put the shield down on the ground and it stands up. It's awesome. It makes a lot of noise. You need to be careful about that. It does make a lot of noise. So there are two things that I would probably do is um, I would either put the shield on your back and move forward and try to cap it that way or uh, I would I would just keep holding on to the shield and try to input the code that way. The biggest thing that most new players make a mistake on is they try to rush the seven digit code that you need to memorize and put it all in right in one try. And you don't need to. Memorizing a seven digit code is very difficult, uh, especially for those who don't get a lot of women's numbers. I mean, you don't have to really. Anyway, point is, guys, bad joke. Um, you can slow down. A lot of the times, especially when the pressure is mounting, you're under fire. This means you might win the map if you get this cap and all this stuff. That pressure and that stress makes a difference. So if you need to memorize just the first three digits, Put in the first three digits, go back, memorize the next four, go back, put it in. But the biggest thing is go for the cap. There are too many times in public servers, new players go for the kill over the cap. There are going to be times when people are going to be too far away from the objective when they are defending. And that is their fault, and they should be rightly punished. That way, when you go back into the tent, everyone yells at that one guy for not defending, and it's his own fault. Take the objective. Do it anyway guys um, with that being said though yeah one of the biggest advantages that you also have when attacking through the north stairway is taking smokes frags help and basically what I would do is I would have two people I would have yeah maybe two people taking smokes or two people taking grenades so that you have two nades on the north stair and then the other they take one other smoke and then one person takes two smokes okay and then you just bombard it. Be careful on the nades, though. And I don't mean be careful that you're going to explode your teammates, and that might happen, but it's very rare. Don't worry about it. But what I am saying is when you are sneaking down the stairs, don't use your frags right off the bat. One of the biggest things I would say for the frags is when you are about, and eh, we'll make it red, just so you guys don't get confused. When you guys are about, like, you know, right here, and you can sneak up quietly. The slower you move, the less noise you make. That's something to remember. Um, you can get over here to where, like, the soda machines are, and you can throw a frag right here in this general area, okay? And that has a good chance of being able to take out multiple people and at least downing them, giving you the advantage to move in for the cap. Go for the cap. Do it. <laughs> so, anyway, that's that objective, guys. Basically, <clears throat> I mean, literally, the biggest thing is if you know for sure that no one is going to be running down the south stairs, you need to be one, the one running down the south stairs. You have the timing advantage. Use it. Okay? Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. Ready to go, ready to go. That's interesting also that they've already selected a capper. Now, they got two running in from the other side, so I'm actually a little bit more curious to watch that. Um, we'll jump over real quick also once they get to the other end, but timing is everything here. They are going to be able to run in from the other side, get there, and hopefully take out a couple of people first. Here they go. Running around the corner. They know right side. They're already starting to fire. One of Phoenix is already taken out. 
One down from Dangler, still able to get revived. The shield is down! But from behind they are firing. They're gonna have to get onto objective real quick because Stumpy or them are gonna be able to cap if they are not careful. Stumpy's able to possibly peek around the corner from his body also. Okay, Stumpy pulling out his tablet. Rivalman trying to go for the cap. They're not stopping the cap. Danglers are going for it right now. And that is a fast cap. There we go again. And that is a big thing that I talk about with the timing, guys. One of the biggest things that you need to know when being a part of this league is understanding that timing. Where you can get to as, as a team uh, and where you, you know how it's going to end up going. You are going to win that advantage. The rest of the objectives are basically going to be discussed as a whole, except for the one upstairs. We're going to talk about that one last, just because that one's one of the tougher ones. Um, but the, this one here in the main areas, um, the two objectives, yeah, the two objectives we are going to talk about right now. They are basically the same objective because the timing and everything is the exact same. One's in the basement. That's a little bit harder because you have to fight through two stairs of people. <laughs> but, oh well, you do what you can. Anyway, um, with that being said, <sighs> this is tough. You on Marsoc, the odds of you winning this map when it is these objectives are extremely difficult. And I wish you all the best as you try to attack. With that being said... The North Stairs, I found basically just to be the distraction. You're trying to get your team or the other team to look at the North Stairs and realize there are people there. Okay. With that being said, uh, again, when you are attacking and you know it is these two objectives, I would bring only smokes. Only bring smokes. Nades, they don't do enough for how the Volk team is going to defend these objectives. There's no need to waste the two points on a nade that's going to do nothing. Don't bring them. Bring two smokes. Flashes won't do much either. <gasps> Excuse me. What I would do at that point then is, and one thing that's nice that you can do, is you can peek around the corner and you can throw smokes right here. Okay? Then, what you can do is move up to where the smokes are thrown. And once you get up to that point, pick up one smoke at a time and re-throw them to here. Okay? Crawl if you have to. If you're standing up, you're probably going to get picked up. But if you crawl, then you'll have a better chance of survival. You're a lot smaller of a target to hit, and a lot of people don't generally expect it. Then, what you can do with your second smokes... Use them at this point because these smokes are probably going to start dying with how fast you're moving. Because um, it is going to be a slower moving because you want the cover of the smokes. You can throw your second smokes and just keep moving a little bit out. And make sure that you know, you're know you keeping an eye out for the enemy. And then you can also either attach a smoke to yourself because you can pull the pin, attach it to yourself, and keep crawling up. And that sometimes works. It's a little risky, though, because it is hard to see other people. Or you can just re-throw it and keep causing a good spread. Thing to remember, uh, there are a couple of places where people tend to hide. One of them's generally here. One of them's generally here. Very seldom is it here. <sighs> Crap. Yeah, there's, there's just... That's the hard part about this. There are multiple, 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 multiple different spots that people can hide at. And that's basically the most common places I've seen people hide at. Yeah, it's it's just so hard to call. On the south side, it is a little bit more predictable. And now what we are going to do on the south side is when you are running down the stairs... It doesn't want to work with me. Okay. Oh, that's why. Um, you want to start smoking out um, this stuff. You want to get a smoke here, you want to get a smoke here, and you want to get a smoke here, okay? That's going to clear out that area. Now, you got to be sometimes careful because one of the places that um, a lot of people sometimes hide are here and here. 
So if you have a fourth smoke, it's not a bad idea to, while you're running down the stairs, throw it about right here. Okay, that'll cover that guy, and he might blind fire through, but then you know he's there. And that's huge, okay? Generally, also, I would send two down the north stairs. I would send three down the south stairs. Uh, you have a much better chance of going and surviving the south stairs than you do the nor north. Because it is such a choke point, and there are so many different areas that they can hide. I just, personally, I feel you have a better chance of surviving the uh, south stairs. So, anyway, once you be careful with that, and once you confirm there's no one at the metal detectors right here, book it. What you want to do is you want to book it to here and use the metal detectors um, as cover. Okay? It's really good cover. There's, again, a lot of freaking places that people tend to hide. Yay, right? That's amazing. Guaranteed, generally, there's one in the south train. And then there's usually someone right there or there. And there might be someone right there. There might be someone right there. There, It's rare, but there might be someone there. And there is probably about 30% of the time someone there, okay? Generally, though, the three most common spots I've seen, yeah, the four most common spots I've seen are those on the south end. On the north end, um, those are the three most common spots that I've seen, okay? With that being said, guys, um, you just got to be very careful. But once you have the smoke, book it across. <coughs> Excuse me. Get into the cover of the metal detectors and then try to move up slowly and try to get that guy picked off and then try to make it into the storage room. If you are able to make it into the storage room, you have just made it through the toughest part of Subway. OK, that is your goal is to somehow manage to break through the north gate and break through the metal detectors of the south gate. It's possible. It's very difficult to do. Um, and, yeah, just so you guys know, I mean, there are different places that you can also defend on this. But, I mean, I don't need to be talking about defense on this. So, yeah. Now we are going to talk about the upstairs objective. And this will be the last thing that we discuss so that you guys can keep testing it out for your own. Um, this, this is a very difficult objective and i kind of hope the devs work on this a little just because it is really unfair um for the for the marsoc and it, it's an uphill battle it really is and I, I i don't mean that as a pun i kind of do but i don't because basically yeah like i said earlier you guys either spawn here or here and it is very dangerous because say, say you spawn here, okay? What you can do is you go and you run up the stairs. And by the time you get here, the Volk members can run up the alley to here. And they can throw flashes and nades right where you're at boom just right there they can throw it over the wall lob it over the wall and manage to get you taken out but right when you make it to the top of the stairs and i hate that i absolutely uh, it's a pet peeve of mine the problem also is if you're like well i'm gonna get naded if i go up there or i'm gonna get easily picked out also bring night vision on this one it's getting really dark up there um and you'll know it's there when you see the tent but when you know you're gonna get naded you're like, oh, well, oops. Um, I'm just going to go and run this way then and go up the stairs this way. And yes, that's good and all. But once you start making it up the stairs, they're in a position right there um, with how they spawn to run up the back alley and wait for you at the top of the stairs. And since they're wearing all black, it's a lot harder for them to be red, okay? So you can't see them nearly as much. Even if you happen to try to get a nade out, odds are they're already... Once you're able to throw a nade up the stairs, they basically can see you and they can take you out. If you do want to try to throw a nade and have a best chance of throwing a nade, I would recommend underhanding it. Because if you overhand it, it's going to hit the ceiling and you don't want that. 
So that's basically your best advantage there. But yeah, that's that's the biggest worry is you either get either of those spawns. If you do happen to get the southern platform spawn, you have a better chance of surviving. Because what you can do is go and move up the south platform. There are two places, though, that you need to worry about, and this is, again, where timing comes into effect. By the time you get to the top of the stairs and start moving into this um, alleyway, there can be a person right here at the corner. And you need to have your gun at the ready, pointing at that direction. Once you see something moving there, shoot it. They cannot make it around that corner before you can get to the top of the stairs if you run full speed. Um, and that's one of the points. Another point is there's a person in this alleyway generally hiding here or here. Okay? You got to be very careful about that. I would recommend waiting at this corner right here and throwing smokes over there um, just because it's it's such a dangerous alley with how dark it is you have a very hard time I mean I've had I've had a teammate of mine Green Theft Auto he's hidden right here can't be seen very difficult to be seen so when they just come like tr like just walking around the corner <laughs> then green will just go and take them out it, it's no contest it's not even a problem for him because he can't be seen until he starts firing his gun and then they have an idea of where he's at but even then sl slim chance you got to be very careful about how you do that so with that being said this alley is so dangerous i mean i've seen people hide here i've seen people hide here um, there's so many places, but those two are the common ones at first. And then they might retreat back to one of those three spots. Um, you know, food for thought. So, I would recommend just smoking the crap out of that and keeping a man to watch that in case they try to do a flank around. You don't want to be flanked from behind, so someone needs to watch the south stairs and someone needs to watch that alleyway. With that being said, once you take out that guy, you're going to start moving up the alleyway. Now, generally, I would still be careful, but there is a back alley right here that sometimes people hide behind the garbage cans. Little rare, but it happens, okay? It's something to be mindful of. Maybe someone there, okay? On top of that, the next most common spot is there are garbage cans and, and a bunch of garbage back there. And there's generally someone hiding right there. Okay? That's the most common spot I've seen. Most people hide right there. Once you happen to get there and take out that person, nade it. Just nade it. Throw a nade there. Call it good. He's generally dead. And if he happens to recognize that there's a nade right on top of him, just walk out. Just let him walk out and then kill him. He's dead. Nothing is going to do about it. <laughs> but it's true. Seriously. Throw a nade there. Don't even risk it. You go around the corner, throw a nade. He's good. You took care of him. He's done. Okay? With that being said, guys, once that gets taken out, um, there's sometimes a person who is up this alleyway. Uh, there's sometimes a person here hiding in the areas. But basically, once you have taken out um, those two guys right here and here, you can generally sneak up. Oh, yeah. You can generally sneak up to right here and plant the objective. Do not check this alleyway, okay? And be careful with making noise, okay? Do not check that alleyway. There are sometimes people hiding there watching to make sure that you, you don't come in for the cap. But you can cap on the other side of the wall and you're still safe. So, yeah. That's, that's basically food for thought. On that guys and that's yeah in short basically how to do better on subway and the biggest reason why we are not focusing on volk as much is yeah because it is such a volk sided map that you being as volk basically gives you the advantage and you're going to win the round so with that said guys that is going to be how to basically do better on subway and if you guys liked it let me know and in the comments below let me know one more map that you would like me to do some strats for on the uh on youtube if this if you found this helpful 
Also, if you wanted to see suggestions on things, if you had per personal questions on maybe some things that you wanted to know about on certain levels, feel free to leave that in the comments below. I will respond. With that being said, guys, though, I hope you do enjoy Onward. If you haven't already joined the league, I highly recommend it. If you want to, you go to vrmasterleague.com, and that'll take you right to the Onward League site. And then you can go over and you can go to the standings. If you're in America, you go to American East. And here are all the teams that are currently recruiting. And some freaking legit teams they are. So, really cool. If you happen to want to join, like, you know, Stone Cold Killer. You're able to see, like, who's everyone on the team. What their record has been in the past. And, I mean, all this stuff, okay? Really cool stuff, guys, and I highly recommend getting a part of this league. Changes the game forever. It really does. It, it's, it's amazing, and it changes the game forever because instead of working with randos or maybe with one friend, all of your friends are on a team, and you get to go in and go against other teams who are working on strats, who are working on callouts and all that stuff, and it's an absolute blast. Highly recommend it. We also have a Discord. If you go to the homepage, it'll lead you right there to the Discord, YouTube, Twitch. We stream all the league matches. Guys, it's a great time, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, any questions or anything like that, feel free to say. You guys are awesome. Hope, hopefully you enjoy it, and have a good one, guys. Thank you.